Le Corbusier in the 30s did an apartment on the Champs Elysees on the angle of the Rue Lord Bayon, uh, all white concrete with some Baroque elements. And I always knew that place, it doesn't exist anymore, from photos, from old work photos. I thought for this collection it was a perfect setting. So I called the Le Corbusier Foundation and they allowed me to take inspiration from the famous set from the fireplace on the terrace. I call them in French uh, uh, cyclistes à la française. Because it's between the culotte à la française and the, and the bicycle shorts. Huh? I think it looks new, modern, fresh, and that's why I like the idea of the flat shoes because they can float, move, jump, what they cannot do with stiletto. I like the idea of materials you normally didn't use for haute couture. I think that's interesting. Huh? We found a young man who sent me a sample of a piece of jewelry and uh, I suddenly liked the idea and translated it into uh, uh, embroideries and we worked a lot with him and we do jewelry and all kinds of things with him because I think it's really an invention. It's a beautiful material. It also comes in other colors and we'll have it in pink and green later. It wasn't ready yet. Now we had it only in white and gray. I wanted them like the bird, like with a long neck and uh, no hair falling down, because look for the cut and the impeccable uh, shape of the bodies and the dresses. Uh, messy hair would not have looked right. Huh? So I like this feather-like touch. There are some exotic birds here have things like this. And I thought it was a modern attitude and, and gave them a very 21st century touch. What I liked about this collection is that it's really flawless, impeccable shapes. Huh? They are really impeccable and light and they float. They don't walk heavily like people sometimes with high heel do and shorts. I think that makes the things more modern. <laughs>